Hi Libra, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of July the 24th to the 31st, 2017. I've been absent, I've taken two weeks off for vacation, it's beautiful summer here in Canada where I live and I want to thank you for your faithful uh, patience and I've missed you and I hope you've missed me. It, uh, it's been wonderful and I've been able to lately go out and do to do some live video chats as well on Facebook and on YouTube. Both were quite challenging. There are some delays and some glitches with that venue, but I was able to connect with some of you and I hope to continue to do that. If you wish to see me live on Facebook some more, please feel free to uh, want to contact me and my given name is Brenda, French background, last name Gagnon, G-A-G-N-O-N. Hope to connect with you soon and get involved in sharing of cards on a live chat where I give out one card, one daily uh, inspirational card to everyone who's kind enough to come into my live chat. So see you soon. We start our week on Monday, Libra, with the Moon card, and this is a <clears throat> this is a uh, major oracle card, major tarot card. Pardon me. And the Moon is all about listening to your own intuition. Okay, and any feelings of security that you have right now, they're stemming from irrational uh, concerns and unreal concerns. So let them go. Throw them out into the universe. They don't belong to you. Okay. You need to have faith in your future right now. Uh, that's coming on your path before you and you are on the right target okay please know uh, that um, <clears throat> the universe is aware and the divine sources are aware that you've overcome some past blocks that have held you back and things are going to get better for you so awaken to these truths my friend about yourself you've kept hidden and see yourself as this beautiful bright ball in the sky just like that moon the dreamer another major card for you you have three in this reading this week the dreamer. The dreamer is all about you knowing that uh, you, you're able to take a leap of faith right now because you're very creative and you can come up with solutions that way. There will be some unexpected opportunities that you're not knowing are going to come in that are going to help you to assert your own independence and you need to be optimistic right now, okay? And approach any challenges right now optimistically because I told you there's going to be some unexpected opportunities coming into you to help you, okay? Do not give up your dreams. Please, follow your dreams. Crowning your week on Wednesday, you've been given a fire card. This is the king of fire. Fire cards are all about self-development. And often that's taking risks we normally wouldn't take, going places we normally wouldn't go, and sometimes that's a new path and an adventure for some of you. This card also has been coming up an awful lot in the other readings, and they're telling me there is a situation that you need to truly, truly, truly three times focus on, okay? It's all about you being able to communicate uh, well, and you can do this because you can communicate with vision, my friend, okay? Uh, you're, you have the same uh, personality traits as this King of Fire. Um, also, you're going to be getting advice from this King of Fire, who is motivational, idealistic, ambitious, and charismatic. Please take his heartfelt advice, okay? I do see this King of Fire as a male, all right? This is not the King Queen of Fire. You have leadership qualities, just like this person that's going to give you advice. So step up, step up, okay? You can. Three of Earth for Thursday. This is our material card. This is about our jobs, careers, professions, and how we bring that abundance and currency into our lives. But it can also have to do with people that are involved in the ecosystem, Mother Earth and Nature, and our closest circle, which would be our immediate family, or people we feel close enough that we would count as family. This is telling me that you, again, have the power of creativity within you to deal with any issues that are coming down this week. You're going to get recognition for the high quality work that you do because like the leader that the King of Fire talked about, you are a great team player. Friday, major card, release. Time to move on, my friend. Uh, it could be the end of a project or a phase in your life. It's complete. It's time to shake off the old in order to bring in and embrace and allow and enable the new to come into you. Okay, welcome the new. There's no benefit in staying where you are right now and remaining in this uh, particular situation that some of you are in. 
Now, often when we move on and release and we let go of things, we may feel relief or sadness. Nonetheless, you need to leave this situation. Okay, you've outgrown it. All right? But you're going to be able to seek the support uh, from family and friends right now that are going to be there to support you and stand up for you. I do see that for a lot of you, this will be a relationship transition you're going through. You're walking away from, okay? And it's time to move on in a new direction. Four of fire. Again, this is self-development. This is all about changes that are occurring in your life and what, what you're doing for yourself for the better. This is telling me, it shows me now that some of you have dealt with these issues and you've moved on and now you're going to feel contentment, peace and the abundance coming into you that you, you have needed. And that comes in the form of time, effort and or money. Uh, I do see you happier in your own circle, in your own private home life now. Okay, things have settled down, things are going to get better for some of you. I also see some of you that have been working on a project. It will be the successful completion of that project too. Four of air on Sunday. So you know what? Often with all these changes that have happened, um, it's, it, it, you get tired, you get depleted, you get you get really worn out, and it, to the point where you just want to run away. And escapism comes to mind, and taking a vacation. I do see that there is a decision that still has to be made for some of you, and you cannot, you need to allow more time before you make that decision, okay? Or allow more time before you run off on a vacation. Meditation can often bring us the answers that we need, okay? If you don't have the resources, time, or effort to actually go away and get away and de-stress, please take yourself to meditation because I can guarantee you when you open your eyes again, you will feel as though you've been away, okay? Now, at the end of the reading, I did incorporate that one card, and it is different. It is the Mystical Wisdom deck. And I had shared these cards when I opened them up. I had a box opening of new cards on uh, Facebook and uh, on live chat, doing a live video. And it was so fun to give all of you a card that were kind enough to come in and participate in that live chat. And the card that they've given you today from the Mystical Wisdom deck is memories, okay? You need to cherish your memories. And mainly these, these, uh, these memories are about your loved ones. Often we have, you know, there's memories of going to places and enjoying things. But, you know, our biggest memories, our biggest, most profound memories that mean so much to us involve individuals that we've shared and made memories with. So please sit with yourself. Think of those memories. Even if you have to move on from a bad relationship or a situation or something in your life, I tell people you can still pull that positive, beautiful card out of it. So think of the good memories, my friend, not the bad ones. I leave you with this. I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to. Libra, and I leave you with this. <clears throat> For the health of my mind, body, and spirit, I choose to walk with gratitude, not envy, faith, not worry, confidence, not fear, and kindness, not anger. The world would be a better place if we could all participate a little bit of that and put it out into the universe and the divine source, sources that be. See you again next week. And know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you, Libra.